Yeah, hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to part 23rd on CMS Blogging System. Guys, in this particular video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new class from scratch called Manage Categories. So if you will go inside your Applications folder, click Create a New File called class.managecategories.php. Now guys, this particular file will also work like a menu for us because in a blog, uh, you know, we have a static um, link call home or we have a static link call ab about us but apart from that everything is dynamic and that would be our categories from where we are actually getting our post so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you know start with the PHP tags uh, right first I'm gonna include the connection file because without any connections we cannot you know get anything from the database uh, here I'm gonna say class called manage uh, categories okay like this okay and inside this particular class uh, I'm gonna create a new function call get categories okay so what this particular function gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and get everything from this uh, database uh, CMS and the table called categories so we're gonna run a very simple and a basic SQL query so here I'm gonna say SQL will be equals to my SQL query select all from uh, categories I believe that's all here I'm gonna say rows or probably say num will be my SQL num rows dot or SQL like how many rows we are able to get if we are able to get more than one row or equals to one row that means we do have inside something inside this particular table called categories then go ahead and run a while loop okay here I'm gonna say while dollar row is equals to my SQL fetch array dollar SQL and guys we're gonna create a new variable called dollar result and this would be an array you know containing everything from this particular query okay don't worry I'm gonna show you an example right now and else I'm gonna say dollar result will be uh, equals to dollar num okay guys so finally here let's say return dollar result because every function do return something so we just want to let this function know that we want to re return the variable called result okay guys uh, finally what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna call this particular function right now and I'm gonna show you what exactly happening uh, I'm gonna create a variable called init which gonna uh, actually contain the instance of the class called manage categories okay here if I'm gonna say echo dollar init and the function name called get categories okay so come back refresh the page and it probably see an array that's fine so instead of an echo we can use print r that's really handy in order to get everything inside an array and guys you will notice it it is actually you know getting us a category name called jQuery and probably a category name called PHP come back you will notice these are the two categories we have okay guys uh, now instead of you know just uh, print I can say for each dollar uh, in it get categories as dollar key or probably dollar value and here I can say value and category name okay like this come back refresh and guys you will notice okay let me say a break tag as well okay now we are done so here it says jQuery and PHP so what we are trying to do is uh, we're gonna run this function as a menu so every time a user gonna click on jQuery uh, we're gonna create a link or probably we're gonna write some logic behind it it's gonna get everything uh, from the database uh, where you know the category is equal to jQuery or where you know we have a jQuery category included out here inside our post okay so here it only says PHP but guys you know it would be really inconvenient for the users and for you as well uh, you know a user is hearing jQuery and they are not getting any result okay it does not make any sense because we do not have any post which actually 
is written under jQuery. We only have one post that is written under PHP and it would be really great if we don't actually show this category to our user. We will only show them PHP. Okay guys, you know, we only have post for PHP so you can view for PHP and later if I'll write for jQuery it would be, you know, automatically uh, start showing on the front end. So for that we need to write one more function and we will you know just have to do something tricky out here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say a function called filter categories okay. What this function gonna do is it, it gonna search all the posts and it gonna find whether we have any posts for PHP, whether we have any posts for jQuery or any other categories we have and if it will find a post then it can only go ahead then it only gonna go ahead and show that particular name out here otherwise it will not so now guys there is one more problem uh, and that would be this particular variable called result is only accessible by this particular function called get uh, get categories because it's a rule of PHP or any other programming language you cannot access the variables of one function inside the another function we can do that only if we're gonna work with parent variables so what I'm gonna do out here is I'm gonna create a new variable here called result okay and now guys this particular variable does not belongs to anyone okay it does not belongs to the function called get categories because we do not have it inside it it's outside this function and it does not belongs to the function called filter categories okay this variable is actually belongs to the parent class called manage categories so what we can do out here is instead of saying uh, dollar result I can say this dollar this and result like dollar this would be a reference to the parent category that would be manage category and get the variable called result okay and here also I'm gonna say dollar this result and dollar this result at the time of returning it now you would be saying why I'm doing that because guys when I'm gonna run any code inside this function I do need the name of the categories that I'm getting from this particular function and which is actually stored inside the variable called result now. So what I'm gonna do is uh, here I'm gonna say dollar this uh, right first I'm gonna call the function called get categories okay and here now I'm gonna say for each dollar uh, this result okay as dollar key dollar value uh, like this or right, guys probably before that we can make a check if I can say you know if dollar this result uh, is not equals to equals to zero that means we do have something inside this particular variable so then I'm gonna go ahead and run this particular for each statement uh, here I'm gonna say category to find like which particular categories we want to find inside our post will be equals to dollar value and category name okay so here I'm gonna say dollar SQL will be equals to my SQL uh, query here I'm gonna say select all from posts where and let me check out the field name that would be categories so I'm gonna say where categories are like now guys you would be thinking why what is this are like why I'm not doing equals to because guys let's say I have two categories out here called PHP and a comma then a jQuery so if I'm gonna do equals to obviously it's not gonna match if I have you know PHP here so that's why we can use a MySQL are like that gonna find anything inside this particular field which is equals to uh, what we're gonna say here so for us it's gonna be dollar category to find okay and guys you're gonna find it too tricky if you have not ever worked with you know object oriented programming in PHP if you want you can check out some of my advanced PHP programming videos there you will you know get more friendly with dollar this and some you know complex queries 
but if you're just a beginner you can leave some comments you can get some help there or you can download the source files to just make sure everything is going fine okay guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything from post where categories is are like category to find next uh, I'm gonna check out how many rows have been returned so I'm gonna say dollar num rows will be equals to my SQL uh, num rows dollar uh, SQL here I'm gonna say if dollar num rows is uh, greater than equals to one okay then here I'm gonna say I'm gonna create a new variable called result will be equals to probably not say a result it's gonna confuse you I'm gonna say dollar categories array okay and it's gonna be equals to <coughs> dollar value category name okay mm, category name like this and finally out here or I believe out here yeah I'm gonna say return categories array uh, dollar categories array okay and now guys you know instead of running the function called get categories now we're gonna run the function call filter categories and you're gonna see it's more convenient for everyone so here I'm gonna say uh, probably dollar r is equal to dollar in it and filter categories come back and refresh here it says there's an index syntax error on line 47 okay let me check out what's wrong here I believe I have some problem with these curly braces so here is the end of the for each here is the end of f here is the end of my function and that's the problem I'm ending my class first I have to end it here okay guys come back refresh and finally here I'm gonna say print r dollar r and you will notice we only have PHP here because we don't have any post on our jQuery so let's go ahead and make this post on our PHP and jQuery 2 come back refer as you will notice now we have jquery and php both so guys this way it's more convenient for everyone if you only have posts for jquery then only be gonna show them a link for jquery otherwise we're not gonna do that so guys i believe that's all from this particular video in the next video we're gonna go ahead we're gonna create a team from scratch or if we need to fix something we're gonna do that as well so i will see you guys next time goodbye